Hello, this is Philip Barfus speaking. I will show you the new IATN support for the authoring. We already had IATN support before, but it was not so convenient to add this to the dialogues. Now it's rather easy. So you see here a normal page, a standard templating kit demo project, which is in English only. So now we go to the admin central and we'll enable the IATN support. You see here in server IATN, we actually had that already before the IATN content support configuration. We simply enable it. Fallback local, that's the language which is served if there is no local defined or if the content is not found. So if I surf with German and there is no German content, it will still surf the English content. And here I have the available languages here, English and German. We have added the authoring configuration so that you can have your custom implementation of the support. And here we have simply enabled that as well. Now let's go back to our page, reload it and you see here in the upper right corner we have now a drop down so that we can start to see the page in German. Obviously nothing happens because we don't have German content but what you already see is that now if you are serving the same content in German we have the adapted URL. So you see it adds slash DE and so it knows ah, uh, I have to serve it in German. That also works if I navigate, it still adds this prefix. Now I'm going to change the dialog. That's the article header dialog. Here we simply say, well, this field is IATN aware. IATN. We make this a boolean. We will obviously add these properties for the dialogues in SDK before we do the final release. Okay, we are back in our article page. Now, if we click Edit Article Header, you see that the field is now IATN aware. We add this marker here so that we know that's the English content. We save it. Switch language to German and it falls back to the English language because I have not yet entered German content. I again go here and you see now we are editing the German content. Save and you see that first it adapts here but also adapts the navigation and if I go to a parent page to a teaser. You see now here it's also using the German content if I'm serving the German URI. So now we are back in our IATN configuration and let's quickly add a new language in here. We simply copy it. This is French. Quickly change the inner values. I have to reload. You see I can also select the French language. Now again it falls back to the English content but I can start to enter my French content. We have also added support for multi-sites so that you can have your IATN configuration per site. If you install an Enterprise Edition that's how the system is configured by default. Now I have changed it to the ETK and content support which delegates to the currently selected site. Now let's quickly go to the site definitions. So you see I have a demo project where I have my IATN configuration as before. It's the very same thing. There is a new value. I've added the default local so that means if I access this with uh, one of these domains, in that case www.demoproject.com, it will select English. And I have a demo project DE, which has 
again a different domain so d.demoproject.com and I actually extend my demo project configuration another new feature in 4.3 I just have changed here the default local to be German let's see if that works I have modified my host file if I call dedemoproject.com it actually goes to my local host I can now simply access my content so you see first it abbreviates the demo project path but it also doesn't add slash de so it makes the path as short as possible but still you see the German content if I go for instance to teaser to this article you also see that the messages like here they are also in German and to be double sure we also go to the events overview which you see here and you see the calendar is also in German the month and here the weekdays thank you